Maynard was a huge talent with a big future ahead of him. But just like Ben Hollyoak, another young Surrey cricketer who died tragically early, the cricket world will never know just how good he might have been. I can't even begin to imagine what you and your family have gone through over the last year, but if there is one thing that you would hope has been learnt from it when you're thinking of the 18-year-olds watching this video, is there any particular message you would want to, to give to them? Look, there are dangers out there, there's no doubt about it, and you can get caught up whether you live in London, whether you live in Birmingham, Nottingham, wherever it is, there are dangers. Just be wary, you know. It's a dreadful accident, obviously, and it's been horrendously difficult for us as a family, and we're still coming to terms uh, with what's happened. Um, and I guess we will do for a long time yet. But the, 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 the core message and the, and the letters that we've had and, and, and keep getting about Tom was, was just, he was doing the right, all the right things. So he was a professional where he needed to be a f professional. Um, in everything, his demeanor, s spending time doing autographs at the end of the game, give, giving a bit of time back. Whether he thought, you know, that, that was a bit hard work, he never came across that way. Um, and I think that's very important. It, it's been having the right manner to the supporters, to the sponsors, etc., uh, to your teammates uh, and to the opposition, you know, win gracefully. And I, I think things like that are, are ultimately very important. Uh, and as I say, from the letters that we've had, about Tom, he showed a lot, all those characteristics. Uh, following um, Tom's death last year, so friends of ours um, thought it'd be a good idea to, in a way, to keep Tom, Tom's name alive. And um, uh, and once the trust got established, then it was right. What direction do we want to go in? And Tom was a young professional sportsman who was, you know, living his dream. He'd always wanted to play cricket from a, a very early age, and um, so we decided we'd would help those kind of in that age band, you know, so from anywhere between 18 and, and 22, 23, that would give them a, uh, an opportunity to play cricket initially, uh, was the initial thought, um, uh, and let them have bursaries uh, to go away to Australia to, or to help with kit it may be, or, or training programs, education programs. From there, it's kind of, it, it's developed into uh, I've just come back from Spain where I'd like to do a cricket academy in Tom's name out there specifically. But we sponsor the PCA Rookie Camp and, and, and great now that we're on board with the, uh, with the RPA Rookie Camp. I mean, that's, that's brilliant for us. I think it's great that the Tom Maynard Trust have committed to support the RPA Induction Day for at least three years. Uh, it sends a great message to us. It's, it's about the RPA, the players' body, um, helping the players get the right information, the right tools. And, and as a game of rugby union, um, I think it's great that, we, that these have become great ambassadors and role models for the sport for years to come. The rookie camp and um, the academy day are perfect ways of educating on the whole. So it's not just one specific area, it's everything that a pro would need to know when they come in to play professional sport. I think as a game we have a responsibility to, to help educate the youngsters uh, at a time when they're growing up, they're, these guys are growing up in the spotlight. Hopefully they'll be playing um, high, high competitive sport at a, at, a, at a high level and people will be interested in what they do on and off the field. Uh, with the Tom Maynard Trust we can give them various skills that will help educate them not only early in their careers but throughout their career and give them the opportunity to make the most of things. I think there is this, obviously a, a, a duty of care. But there's only so much you can do. It's it's the individual, you know, it's the rugby player himself, it's the cricketer himself who has to take that responsibility on uh, eventually and, and listen to people. As I say, it, it's very hard because they just want to play rugby. They're not worried, they're invincible at a young age or you believe you're invincible at a young age and and sadly we've learned that that's, that's not the case. As a young player, as a, as a 19, 20, 21 year old, rugby player, cricketer, soccer player, all you want to do is play the game. You don't think about anything else. You don't think about pensions, about lifestyle, about, you know, you just want to get that salary in and you want to play and you want to drive a nice car and you don't think of the other potential dangers that are out there. And, and really these days are so important to educate uh, the young sports people that, yeah, you do have to have a focus on, on your game, on your, on your skill and on your rugby, but you also need a B plan. Uh, and that B plan is very important. If your first plan, which is to play the game, isn't working, you need that B plan to fall back on. We do live a kind of unique life as, as sports people, uh, latterly now myself as a coach, but it is a wonderful life to, 
to, to live and as I say when you get the opportunity you've got to enjoy that and, and Tom certainly did uh, and I think that's why people had such affection for him because of the way, the way he lived his life and um, how professional he was at times and he, he made a mistake and it cost him dearly. It's about learning from your mistakes and uh, we, we've all made them uh, along the way but if you don't enjoy what you're doing you're not going to do it very well and therefore you're going to have a very short space of time because you're going to get sacked. If you, if you, you've got to enjoy what you're doing and part of the lifestyle with it in sport is you do become in the spotlight, especially the higher profile you go, so you have to pick and choose your time. You know, as associations, we're always needing more funding to do stuff. And if Tom Maynard Trust develops and says, OK, well, yes, we'll help you with your rookie camp education and your drugs awareness and all of these other social issues, and then it expands even further and says, OK, we'll help you with your personal development as well and do match funding and that sort of thing, then it can only be beneficial for all of us. The initial thoughts were it was going to be a 55-month, but that was Tom's playing number at Surrey, uh, uh, and, and to raise £250,000. We'll be comfortably hitting that target within the next year, so we'll have to review that. Like everything, that I, I know the trust will have a shelf life, um, but at the, 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 the cricket academy that you know I want to develop that could go on and on and on. You touch so many people, Tom. You know, in different walks of life. So I think it's um, the the important thing. The support is there for the trust and and the people. His friends believe what we're doing is the right thing as well, which is key. And how can other people watching this get involved and back the, the trust? There are a number of uh, things. We've just, as I say, completed uh, a cycle uh, sportif. Um, we've got the big bike ride in conjunction with the Professional Cricketers Association, the PCA, uh, in October, October the 18th uh, through to the 22nd, and that's from Durham through down to Lords. Uh, we have around about 50 riders so far riding that, uh, the, the whole thing. Um, we'll be joined along the way with the likes of Michael Vaughan, said he'd do a couple of days. Andrew Flintoff said he'd join up. Marcus Treskothic's doing the whole thing. Uh, and the support from the cricket community has been huge for that. So um, that's, that's our big thing for this year. Uh, alongside that, Sarah Bell, who was, um, again, good friends of Tom. She was my cricket secretary at Glamorgan. She now works at the ECB. She did two marathons in two weeks. She did the Paris and London Marathon. And Adam Chantry swim in the channel. So, again, it, uh, there are opportunities to get involved with a trust to sponsor um, uh, and, and hopefully keep Tom's name alive for a, for a good number of years.